and welcome to the Tech and Auto Show, India's first social and web exclusive show for gadget lovers and automobile enthusiasts. We've got a power packed show lined up for you this week. So without any further ado, let's give you a glimpse into that. Now there's no doubt that in 2016, OnePlus 3 has been one of the best flagship smartphones to come out. Thanks to the 6GB RAM and a flagship Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, the phone made its mark and it of course came in a budget. But OnePlus recently decided to launch another variant to it which is the OnePlus 3T. Up ahead on the show, we tell you what are the differences between the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T. Within just six months of the launch of the famed OnePlus 3, the OnePlus 3T is here at an attractive price out of Rs 29,999. Just to recall, the OnePlus 3 was launched for Rs 27,999. So what do you get for spending Rs 2,000 extra? Here is OnePlus 3 versus OnePlus 3T. While the OnePlus 3T smartphone looks exactly the same when compared to the OnePlus 3, it comes with a new processor, bigger battery and improved front camera. The OnePlus 3T is available in two storage variants, 64GB and 128GB. Only the 64GB version will be available in gunmetal and soft gold options. The 128GB OnePlus 3T will be available only in gunmetal color. While the looks are the same, the new OnePlus 3T is powered by a newer Snapdragon 821 processor with 6GB of RAM. The new OnePlus 3T offers 16 megapixel cameras on both sides and the monster of a phone is powered by a bigger 3400 mAh battery. There is dash charging as well. You can get one day battery life from just 30 minutes of charge. The OnePlus 3T runs Android Marshmallow and is expected to receive the latest Android N update very soon. So to sum up, what's new in the new OnePlus 3T? For Rs 2000 more, you get Snapdragon 821 processor, you get a bigger 3400 mAh battery and not to forget the 16 megapixel front camera. Alright, now that we've told you what's the difference between the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T, it's back to some automobile action and up next on the show, Manav Sinha gets you the review of a street naked litre class motorcycle which is called the Triumph Speed Triple. The whole idea of owning a street naked leader glass motorcycle like the Triumph Speed Triple is to have a bike that gives you loads of power without being difficult on your body like a super sport. So does this Brit fit the bill? Let's find out. Right off the bat you will notice just how compact the design is and thanks to the twin headlamps, stubby underseat exhausts and single sided swing arm the bike has an unmistakable presence on road, but other than that, the styling is minimal. The engine delivers 125 horsepower and 105 newton meters of torque, which is more than you need given that the bike weighs 186 kilos drive. But clearly, the bike was not designed to attain top speeds, but to have fun while achieving them, because it is very nimble to ride and agile through corners. The brakes do an excellent job at providing bite as well as feedback. What's really not that impressive is the transmission which often feels clunky during upshifting. But other than that, it is a breeze to ride. Especially because you get adjustable suspensions on this one. It mainly competes with the likes of the Suzuki GSX S1000, but what it's got working for it is its price tag, which at 11.5 lakh rupees makes it one of the most accessible leader class motorcycles in the country and yet makes no compromises whatsoever. 
Now, when it comes to weapons technology, there's a company in India that is a make in India company, which is called Zen Technologies, and they are making some awesome defense products. And up next on the show, we show you a tank simulator that the Indian tank regiment uses to train their officers. Uh, what you see here is a T-90 uh, battle tank simulator uh, for uh, training of uh, gunners and commanders. It is used profusely by all the regiments of the uh, Indian Army. What you see here is an instructor station where the instructor is able to see the, all the uh, controls and the instruments that a gunner and commander would see sitting inside his cupola, which uh, replicates the complete actions, visuals, the, uh, the firing methods, as also uh, the, the feel of uh, the complete controls as it would be in a real battle tank. What you see here is the controls as would be seen uh, inside the, the cupola. Here, you are also able to see the uh, graticule patterns as can be seen by the gunner and commander. This equipment uh, is uh, able to fire both during day and night against tanks, against helicopters and all this gets replicated in our system and enables a gunner of the C-90 tank to get skilled fast and efficiently. We are able to maintain high levels of battle skills with the help of these simulators you see a fusion of technologies here. It is a total optics, it is a software, it's a mechanical portions and electronics. All fused together to give you a realistic battle tank simulator and it is one of the best training equipment uh, available with the Indian Army uh, for training battle tank uh, gunners and commanders in firing. Now the demand for eco-friendly vehicles has been rising and one company that's been serious in this segment at least has been Toyota. With the Camry Hybrid, it has made its mark and it's all set now to launch the new Prius in January 2017. Up ahead on the show, we get you the first look of the all-new Prius. With the rise in demand of environmental friendly cars in India, Toyota has always been ahead of the game. Back in 2010, they got the Prius to India. Cut to 2016, after the success of the Camry Hybrid in India, Toyota is all set to get the 2017 new Prius to India. The car is more angular now and it's got an aggressive stance and a futuristic back. The Prius is 60 mm longer, 15 mm wider and 20 mm lower than its predecessor. And that extra length provides extra leg room for the rear passenger. Boot capacity has also increased from 445 litres to 502 litres. The new Toyota Prius is powered by a hybrid power terrain that consists of a petrol engine along with an electric motor. The 1.8-litre four-cylinder DOHC VVT-i motor with EV44, Eco and Power modes deliver 97 bhp power and 142 newton meters of torque. The electric motor works in tandem with the petrol engine and also sources power from lithium-ion nickel-metal hydride batteries. Toyota claims that the new Prius comes with 10% increase in fuel economy and 40% increase in thermal efficiency. The hybrid car also comes with a 4.2-inch instrument cluster display, touchscreen infotainment system, new automatic climate control system and color head-up display. For your smartphone, Toyota has also loaded it with key charging and JBL speakers. The new version is expected to be priced between Rs 30 to Rs 40 lakh ex-showroom Delhi. And it is coming to India in January 2017.
And that's about all the time that we have on this edition of the Tech and Auto Show. All you tech lovers out there, you can also follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at the rate news 18 tech. And all you petrol heads, don't forget to follow us on at the rate news 18 auto on Twitter. We'll see you same time, same place next week on this platform, which is the World Wide Web. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next week.